Hello everyone, welcome to this series on famous works in literature and in this video we are going to discuss the play Agamemnon by Aeschylus. Introduction The play Agamemnon by Aeschylus is the first in the trilogy known as the Orestia, which stands as one of the greatest achievements of Greek tragedy. This video explores the plot, characters, themes, symbolism and historical context of Agamemnon examining how Aeschylus weaves a complex narrative of justice, revenge and the human condition against the backdrop of the Trojan War and its aftermath. Plot Summary Agamemnon begins with a watchman on duty on the roof of the palace at Argos, eagerly waiting for a signal that Troy has fallen to the Greek armies. When a beacon finally flashes, he joyfully runs to tell Queen Clytemnestra. The chorus, composed of Argos's old men, recounts the story of the Trojan prince Paris abducting Helen, leading to a decade-long war. They also recall how Agamemnon sacrificed his daughter Iphigenia to appease the goddess Artemis and secure a favorable wind for the Greek fleet. Clytemnestra orders sacrifices of thanksgiving claiming that a system of beacons has informed her of Troy's fall. The chorus is skeptical until a herald confirms the news, describing the army's sufferings and the storm that separated Melanus' fleet. Agamemnon returns home, bringing with him Cassandra, a Trojan princess and prophetess. Clytemnestra welcomes him with fine love and convinces him to walk on a carpet of purple robes, an act of hubris. Cassandra, foreseeing the impending doom, predicts both her and Agamemnon's deaths. Eventually, Clytemnestra murders Agamemnon and Cassandra, justifying her actions as revenge for Iphigenia's death. She is joined by her lover, Aegisthus, as they take over the government, while the chorus predicts that Orestes will return to avenge his father. Main Characters Agamemnon, the king of Argos and commander of the Greek armies during the Trojan War. Despite his heroic status, his willingness to sacrifice his daughter and his arrogance contribute to his downfall. Clytemnestra, the protagonist of the play, she is Agamemnon's wife and has ruled Argos in his absence. Driven by revenge for her daughter Iphigenia's sacrifice, she is determined and ruthless in her actions. Chorus The elder citizens of Argos, who provide commentary on the play's action and serve as advisors to Clytemnestra. Cassandra A Trojan princess and prophetess, she is brought to Argos as Agamemnon's slave. Despite her gift of prophecy, she is doomed to be disbelieved. Aegisthus, Agamemnon's cousin and Clytemnestra's lover, seeking revenge for his family's past injustices. Themes The play's central themes include justice and revenge. The cycle of vengeance is a driving force, with each act of revenge leading to further bloodshed. Clytemnestra's murder of Agamemnon is a response to his sacrifice of their daughter, Iphigenia. Consequences of War The personal and societal impacts of the Trojan War are deeply explored, affecting all characters profoundly. Divine Will vs. Human Action Characters grapple with their destinies as determined by the gods, while their actions often contradict divine expectations. Gender Roles Clytemnestra's defiance of traditional female roles in Greek society highlights the theme of gender and power. Symbolism and Imagery Aeschylus uses powerful imagery and symbolism to deepen the narrative. Purple Carpet represents hubris as Agamemnon walks on it, defying the gods. Cassandra's prophecies serve as foreboding element highlighting the inevitability of fate. Blood imagery illustrates the cycle of violence and retribution that plagues the house of Artreus. Narrative techniques Aeschylus employs several narrative techniques to enhance the story. Use of chorus 
The chorus serves as commentators and moral guides, providing background and context. Dramatic irony. The audience is aware of the impending doom while the characters remain oblivious. Rich poetic language. The dialogue and speeches are imbued with poetic elements, adding depth and emotion. Historical context. Understanding the historical backdrop is crucial to fully appreciating Agamemnon. The play is set against the Trojan War, which began when Paris abducted Helen, leading to a decade-long conflict. The mythological history of the House of Atreus is filled with betrayal and revenge, setting the stage for the events in Agamemnon. The Greeks believed in the power of curses and the inevitability of fate, concepts that heavily influenced the play's narrative. Analysis of Major Scenes Several scenes in Agamemnon stand out for their dramatic and thematic significance. Agamemnon's Return and the Purple Carpet Scene Agamemnon's act of walking on the purple carpet symbolizes his hubris and sets the stage for his downfall. Cassandra's Prophecies Her foretellings add a layer of inevitability and tragedy, highlighting the curse on Agamemnon's family. Clytemnestra's confrontation and murder of Agamemnon. This scene is the climax of the play, where themes of revenge and justice converge. Conclusion Agamemnon by Aeschylus is a powerful exploration of justice, revenge and the human condition. Through its complex characters, rich symbolism and dramatic narrative, the play delves into the consequences of war and the cyclical nature of vengeance. It serves as a profound commentary on the human struggle against fate and the divine, highlighting the timeless relevance of these themes. As the first play in the Orestia trilogy, it sets the stage for the continuing saga of the House of Atreus, leaving a lasting impact on both its characters and its audience. So this was the discussion on the play Agamemnon by Aeschylus. We will meet in the next video and discuss some other work. Until then, goodbye and thank you.